Hello kittens, Silver here, and today I'm going to be sharing my entire collection of Douglas Cuddle Toys, Kittens and Cats, which is something I've been promising to do for a while, and now the hour has finally arrived. Uh, please just sort of bear with me with the, uh, the poor lighting situation. I'm trying to do the best that I can with what I have to work with. Um, so first up, this is Scatter, the gray kitten, who was a gift from my friend Stacy. He's the smallest cat in my collection, uh, about six inches, I think, six inches tall, six inches lengthwise. Very cute though, nice soft silvery gray coat. And next we'll go into the 12 inch floppy kittens. So first up we have Pat, the black and white cat, who I got from Everpine Plush on Instagram was really really excited to get Pat he or she I, it's Pat is one of those gender gender neutral names but um I, I'm thinking maybe he for this Pat um, but I love Pat's silver eyes they're one of his most striking features um, completely unlike any other cat plush that I own and that sort of crazy wiry fur and he's one of those nice floppy style cats and he's in like new condition, but without a hang tag. And next up we have Cosmo, the tortoise shell, uh, tortoise shell kitten. Ooh, if we want to focus, there we go. <laughs> this, uh, this Cosmo is new with tags. And I absolutely adore Cosmo's coat. Um, this is probably one of my favorite 12-inch kittens. Such a sweet expression on the face as well. And then I actually have a second Cosmo. Uh, this is the first one that I found on eBay. Uh, this one was slightly used, slightly pre-loved, but still in very good condition. Very sweet face as well. See that same sort of a, kind of almost Bengal, Bengal cat type of coat? That's the second Cosmo. Next I have Buff, the cream kitten, who's got a lovely uh, white and light cream coat. I'd say Buff is slightly more firmly stuffed than, than some of the other 12 inch kittens, um, but also in very nice condition. No hang tag on this one. Then I have Beatnik the black and white kitten who I got new with tags from Onyxkins on Instagram. was really really happy to get Beatnik. He is so so super velvety soft. Maybe the softest of the uh, the vintage kittens that I own. Ugh, the lighting is really bad but uh, and he's got those nice olive eyes. Really sweet. Then we have Rusty, the, whoop, let me just <laughs> get a firmer grip on him. This is Rusty, the calico tortoiseshell cat, who again has one of the coolest coats. Uh, I just love the way that the sort of orangey brown and darker brown colors are mixed on the back. And then he has these big sort of um, orangey patches. And he's a little bit different style than the other floppy cats. He's not really so much floppy. Um, and his head is slightly turned to the side. He actually is capable of standing on um, on all four legs as well, so that makes him a little bit different from the uh, the other 12-inch floppy kittens. Then we have Theo, who I got from Crywolf very recently. This was a huge grail of mine, um, and this is the hang tag. Still has the uh, the hang tag attached, which was awesome. Um, this is the, uh, not tortoiseshell, <laughs> Tonkinese cat, Theo the Tonkinese. Beautiful, beautiful coat on him. Then we have Luna, the gray kitten. Absolutely precious. Got her on Mercari. Uh, she's also new with tag. It's on her ear. Next we have Misha. The orange tabby cat, who's also an eBay find, 
in like new condition without a hang tag. Now we'll move on to the 16 inch floppy cats. So first up we have Oliver the calico cat. Um, and it's kind of unfortunate that Douglas named so many of their calicos male names since it's very, very rare that uh, calico cats are male. Um, but Oliver, I love, love, love the colors on on his coat as well. This sort of like um, like a dark sort of burnt red color, maybe I would say. It's completely different um, from other calico cats that I've seen before. Ooh. And the focus is going, <laughs> but um, has that really cool patchwork look to the coat. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus back in on pretty Oliver here. Maybe I should rename her to Olivia to <laughs> make it um, a little bit more uh, realistic. Okay, now we have Angus, the black Angora cat who was my first ever Douglas Cuddle Toys cat. So he's really special. He's got a little little uh, scarf around his neck, which probably doesn't suit him the best, but I, I had it just sort of lying around and I thought, well, he could use a little accessorizing. Um, he's coming up really dark here, but um, if you can, I think you could kind of see on camera, he actually has silvery strands in his fur, which are so pretty and actually sparkle in the sunlight. So Angus is very special to me. And I love the uh, the long-haired um, Angora-style cats. Nice and floppy. <laughs> then we have Amir, the Persian cat. And Amir is one that I don't think I've seen in anybody else's collection before. This was another eBay find. Um, She's a little bit, or I think it's a he actually, I think Amir might be a male name, but uh, Amir's a little bit longer, I think, than some of the other, or than all the other 16-inch cats uh, by just a, just a touch, and he has a really, really long tail, but beautiful white soft fur and blue eyes on Amir. Next, I have Tasha, the Himalayan cat. I also purchased from Onyx Kins, and this one is new with tags. She's so fluffy and chonky. I love, love Tasha so much. One of my favorite Douglas cats for sure. And speaking of Tasha, uh, I have another version of Tasha with the darker brown nose, slightly different colored eye than, uh, than the other Tasha. I think this is the older version and if that as if that wasn't enough I have a third Tasha which was the very first one that I purchased uh, this one was used from eBay uh, for a very low price and I actually colored this Tasha's nose in with a Copic marker um, because there was a lot of fading on it so those are my three Tashas then I have Cloudy the gray cat, who I also purchased from Onyxkins. She was really helpful way in the beginning when I uh, first started collecting these Douglas cats. And um, this one also is able to stand on, on all four feet, uh, a little bit more firmly stuffed than the other 16 inch cats. Um, but I love the uh, this extra large ears, uh, the shape of the muzzle is a little bit different. Um, and just the texture of the coat has, is so nice. It has that lovely sheen to it. So that is cloudy. Next I have Melba, who I believe is a, a brown mixed cat is what she's called. And she's also new with tags. And I got her on Poshmark of all places. Because every once in a while, um, you do find a rare plush or two on that particular site, even though it usually caters to clothing. Um, but I really love um, Melba's fur. She's got all different textures going on. And just lots of color variation. So that's Melba. Then we have Fifi, the white cat who is 
a little marshmallow fluff. Super cute, another eBay find. She has her little butterfly collar on right now. A couple of them do, actually. Um, nice, simple white kitten. Can't go wrong with that. Then we have Allspice, the calico cat, uh, who I purchased from uh, on a site called Genie's Cottage, I believe, .com, Genie's Cottage. This was the last one that she had in stock, so I was very happy to, to uh, get my hands on her, and she's also new with tags. Next we have Amber, the ginger cat, who was one of my earliest acquisitions. And Amber has just one of the most beautiful sets of golden eyes. Um, it's, it's getting hard to see when I'm clo uh, closing in on them, but hopefully you could see just some of the detailing right there. So pretty. Uh, Amber's definitely another favorite of mine. I just love the, uh, the ginger coat on her. It's kind of sort of a, uh, a blend of ginger and like a, a cream or an off-white. So that's Amber. And then we have Peaches, the uh, orange tabby cat. And this is the earlier version of Peaches, the, uh, the floppy laying style. And uh, this Peaches is especially floppy, probably because she was pre-loved. And she actually has almost the same type of eye as Amber. I think it actually is uh, the identical uh, eye that's used on Amber. So pretty though, such a sweet face. Then we have Davy, the Maine Coon Cat. And he's another one of the uh, 16 inch floppies. He's new with tags, um, super, super soft, absolutely precious. Um, this particular Davy has the airbrush markings on the chest, which not all of them have. But um, again, that sort of um, multicolored coat really gives him a lot of visual interest. Now we have, let's see, we're almost done. This is Allie the Calico Cat, who I also got from Onyxkins on Instagram. And actually, Allie has those same really faceted golden eyes as well. Really, really sweet kitten. And then I have uh, the a couple of the newer cats. So the first one would be Rita, the gray cat, who is currently available as of 2021. Um, but Rita is so, so lovely. I highly, highly recommend her. Super, super soft. I got her at a local toy store. Um, so she has her tags as well. It's got that lovely pink airbrushing on the inside of her ears and those little sparkly blue eyes. So that's Rita. And then lastly, I have not one, but two sets of Zoe cats. Uh, this first one here was a gift from my friend Stacy. She's part of the deluxe line. Uh, she's a very, very large cat. She's over 20 inches. Um, nice and floppy, really, really soft material. And then lastly, this Zoe cat, which was a gift from my mom, uh, an Easter gift as a matter of fact, because who needs bunnies when you can have kittens, right? <laughs> so that is my entire set of cats. Let me just give you sort of a landscape view. Okay, so here we have the entire set of Douglas Cats and Kittens. And there you have it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed seeing my massive collection of, uh, of Douglas Kittens and, ki and Cats. <laughs> um, hopefully this didn't come out to be overly long. Um, but anyway, that is the complete collection. There are definitely others that I'm still hoping to add to my collection, so I am not quite finished yet. Uh, so if anybody happens to have any of the vintage style cats, then uh, definitely let me know because I am highly interested. 
Um, so thank you everybody for tuning in and I will be back with you soon with some more plush goodness. Bye everybody.